Hello there. Um, this is a crate approaching a star. It's a memorial star, and this. Uh, so obviously, this is a bit of a, a bit of a sad story, but it's also quite a lovely one. I got this message on Twitter about wanting to um, record this this visit to the star, and uh, I, I guess I'll read out the the message I got. This is uh, Kamala Grover Kiwi, and he said. Uh, in 2017, a good friend and colleague of mine lost her young adult daughter to suicide. She was her only child. Through the past years in healing, my mate ended up on a website that sells people stars. They get a certificate showing that they've claimed a star in our galaxy. When I heard about this, I told my friend about Elite. and asked her if she wanted me to take her to the star in game. It ended up that I did a stream to about 50 family members and friends in New Zealand and Australia, where I went from Sol in a ship I named TK's dream after a daughter, and we jumped to Mu hyphen one Crucis, TK's star. It was an awesome thing to be able to do for them. Anyway, so that's the story, and uh, I'm not sure I managed to quite capture the blue light reflecting off the crate as well as I wanted to, but I really enjoyed that powerful blue that you can do with the star. It's an amazing star. It's so lo it's so lovely that people are able to virtually do this within the construct of the game. Uh, it's, a, it's an amazing thing that the game is able to accommodate that in some way. And certainly Frontier have done that in the past. They've, they've, they've named stars and systems and planets and stations. And um, there's a sort of a, there's the heritage of the Tiny's little orbital graveyard as well, which is uh, uh, certainly people have put in requests uh, and it's always very much been, um, that would be a, a long-term project if ever it was gonna happen. But uh, certainly they've uh, recently updated the way they're going to deal with that. They're going to have um, beacons that you can travel to to um, register someone that you want to record in the game. And that, that Frontier are actually doing this, which is, which is rather wonderful. And I, th I think, though, a lot of people are content to experience the real galaxy and see the real galaxy stars that are re recreated in game and travel to them, ones that have meaning for them. I don't have a star myself that I'm um, emotionally connected to like that, uh, but certainly I can see why it's so valuable. It's just, it's wonderful. And when I've seen tributes in the past that people have done, they are incredibly effective. It's just, yeah. I think it's, I think it's because it's real. It's the, it is actually the real galaxy. They are real stars that they have. I mean, they may be computer renditions of them, but they've put them where they should be and they've made them look how we think they look. And it's as real as we can do. So it, it's, and, it, and you can interact with it. It's, it's such a wonderful thing to be able to give that to someone. And it, it sounds like Commander Grover Kiwi has been able to do something really quite amazing for quite a lot of people, probably the majority of whom wouldn't really know about Elite. So to them, they're just seeing this amazing thing. Yeah, I think it's, it's a lovely thing to be able to do. And for me, I, I'm dead proud that he wants a picture of it. I, I was really pleased to get a to get a request for this. That's that's a really amazing thing to be asked to do. And I love a blue star anyway. They look great. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for watching, and um, I'll do another one in a few days. I expect. <laughs> bye bye.